uh, well, you have to bear with me. It's really, really bright and sunny. But a lot of y'all have been asking me about, uh, I've had a lot of comments on YouTube, uh, as well as TikTok, um, about the actuator, the, uh, electric tilt and trim that I've got on my mud motor here with the, uh, twister tail kit and really i mean let me look all right so this is my uh predator uh motor pretty pretty much new with the mud skipper twister tail kit um it's got the the motor has a stage one kit on it um but it's also got custom tilt and trim and y'all noticed that in the last last video this is actually a completely different setup than what it was last time. So last time, when I, whenever, whenever I first got the motor, the guy I got it from uh, already had that setup on there. But, and basically all it is, I wasn't gonna give this away, but I had so many people asking, figured I'd just go ahead and, it's basically just a electric linear actuator from Amazon. And that's what the old one was as well, except it was a little bit beefier, it weighed a lot more. Um, but when I got it, um, and I and I wired it in and all that stuff, the you could tell it had been, um, you know, messed with before, and basically wasn't. It was basically broke. Was dead. The wires were shot in it. Um, some of the stuff was just messed up inside of it. Someone had been inside of it before, so I just went ahead and got another one. I had to do a little bit of. Uh, modification i guess if you will fabrication on it to make it work but basically that's all it really is is a uh linear actuator um i got it on amazon so basically if you know the the stock um tilt and trim thing is basically just a the piece that hangs down through here um you i don't know if you can tell but we basically had to the guy before me welded this little bracket um onto the mount here the swivel in order to make the old one work um but i had to use this mount basically this mount right here came with the actuator that i got i had to cut it in half and use it so that it didn't wobble because it had a lot of wobble and play in it because it was a lot bigger i had to drill a bigger hole in the actuator because the hole that it came with it came with a little tiny pin and uh, it was going to be way too small for, for me to use that bracket. And I wanted to just go with the same thing. So I had to drill a bigger hole and use the old pin that was in it. And then I just went ahead and put two bolts in it to uh, make it more secure. Now it has no wobble at all. And then had to weld. He welded this little bracket on here uh, for the old one. However, this one wasn't long enough. It said it was. I made sure when I bought it. It said it was the same size as the old one but it was not it was a lot shorter so this piece right here is basically the shaft of the old actuator I, I broke into the old actuator took this shaft out and cut it off measured it to about the size i need and then i put it onto this bracket here that was already welded on here well it's not welded it's bolted on but this piece here is welded um slid it onto that bracket in order to make it long enough make it work and then obviously slid it into the shaft that's on my actuator and now i mean it it works fine i've took it out taken it out maybe two or three times since i've put it on you can still tell it's pretty new and um i mean it, it doesn't have any kind of problem it does a little bit feel like when i when i give it full throttle like it's kind of pushing its way you know like this is maybe a little too much at full throttle with, with the water pushing it against itself because at one point one of these bolts did come out and it was starting to wobble but i think that's just because i didn't have the bolts tight enough so i had to go get new bolts but now i took it out again and it's perfectly fine but i'll show you how it works here let me spin it around so i've got it spun around there i've also i've got it wired to this switch right here um and i've basically the everything on my boat here i don't know if you knew this is completely different by the way from the last video i made on youtube so let me just go ahead and show this 
all brand new paint brand new trailer paint um i added these storage seats basically this was just one basic bench i cut holes into it to make a storage added the uh cover on it with the hydro turf same thing up here and that i'm just now making that extended front deck just got to put the top on it now it's basically done and then i got to put my floor on this side which is nothing um but as you can tell that's that's that i got a custom grab bar here um basically just way all it is is i bought um it's basically like galvanized gas pipe that's actually exactly what it is it's just not threaded um if i'd got the threaded it was a lot cheaper to get the 10 foot sticks and i wouldn't have been able to thread them on um if i cut it to size i needed because they it, then it wouldn't have been threaded so they had these um that was not threaded all it is is you basically uh it's got these little screws in here you just attach them in there screw them in and i mean it doesn't doesn't wobble at all same thing for the bottom the bottom is actually screwed in just goes right into those plates um i don't remember exactly how much it costed but i know it was a whole lot more than just buying a a cheap material grab bar and this is actually pretty heavy duty um especially for me i mean i'm not a not a big guy at all so i've also re like i said put new hydro turf in added my cooler um rewired the whole thing all the um back light pods are brand new navigation's brand new front pods are brand new front led bar is brand new front navigation trailer's been painted the whole boat's been completely redone painted i don't know if you remember last video it had uh the like the duck grass i guess or whatever type camo it was a lot lighter color so i basically went i recorded a whole video of me painting the entire boat redoing everything and somehow my phone glitched or i don't know what it did but it showed that i had the footage but when i clicked on it, it said it wasn't available so basically lost all that footage but i've got the i think it's sea arc sea um sea hawk i think paint which is the john boat green paint and then i've got the um i'll show you here in a second basically just the red leg havoc timber stencil kit you can see right here it says havoc and that's from red leg um turned out pretty good i've got the cody tan paint with the black of just basic rust-oleum camouflage paint is all i used um so that's that and then i've re like i said rewired the entire boat added this switch panel so it's got a brand new switch panel brand new battery brand new master switch brand new fuse box yes i know that all has to get cleaned up wired everything in so basically when i turn this on <clears throat> now let's get back to the actuator when i turn this on um, i've just got it wired to my switch so that it's not running uh 24 7. flip the actuator switch on you just come up here and it's as easy as that now i can without having to fight with the thing i can just stand up here and worry about just driving it i literally just have to hold hold the throttle and that's it i don't have to sit here fighting with it and jerking it out of water and um it's definitely really really handy um a couple of my buddies have tried it out they love it and they've got long shaft mud motors so they're always trying to fight the thing um but yeah that's basically all it is um didn't really want to give the whole thing away because i just kind of felt special about having it but so many people asked me i figured heck i might as well um tell everybody the way it's done the way that i've done it and uh let's let someone else maybe find a better way if they can do it um this boat now last time i took it out it wasn't i didn't have the actuator running the way i wanted it to as far as um getting used to it and it was pushing this 1432 with that stage one kit and the motor it was pushing it around 15 miles an hour but i've got it pretty tuned in now i believe so i think i should be able to get somewhere close to the 20s um 
because last time it was just diving down in the water even in deep water and just you could tell it was kind of bogging down because i didn't have the uh, i had the old actuator on it and it it wasn't working right so i'm going to take it out again and i should get somewhere close to uh, if i get it in that sweet spot should get close to uh around that range what i, what I think So yeah, that's that. Um, like I said, brand new trailer paint. Um, brand new paint on the outside. Red leg, Havoc timber. New storage seats. Um, new hydro turf. Custom grab bar. I love this thing. But I am probably going to get rid of it pretty soon. I haven't put the in inside LEDs out. I don't know if I'm going to put those inside or out. Um, probably going to get rid of it soon though because i am looking for something bigger because uh the people i hunt with only one of them has a boat and he isn't comfortable with it yet he just got the long shaft mud motor so i'm looking to get a lot bigger boat so that i can haul a lot more people around um but for for just me this thing is great i mean i'm not going to get there fast but um i'm definitely going to be able to go places other other people can't so I love this thing. Um, if you're looking for this kind of setup, it's definitely the way to go. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, that's that. This is the mud motor setup. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, share this video with your friends if, if they seem interested in this setup. I really appreciate everybody commenting on this video, um, getting interested in the little setup I have here. Um, I, I read, try to read every single comment that comes in. Uh, especially on TikTok, I'm on a lot. So, um, like I said, we'll be coming, we'll be having a lot more videos soon here, especially with deer season open now, and duck season is coming up just in a few weeks. So, should be having a lot more uh, videos that I can start posting and and uh, engage with you all in. So, I really appreciate y'all watching this video, taking your time to uh, to watch it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment below if you have any suggestions on on uh, what you think about it or maybe your opinion or what you think I could do to this 1432 here to make it a little bit better. Like I said, I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep it, um, but either way, I, I hope you all uh, enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for watching.